Yeah, hi everyone, it's Brian Newman with the Spotlighted Business Owner Show. Yeah, today we're thrilled to have Johan Yalda with Trollhive. He's on, uh, on the line today and uh, with us uh, for an interview to talk about his business. How you doing? I pre good, good, good. I appreciate you having me here, Brian. Appreciate yeah. all your efforts and all that hard work you do, man. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. No, uh, so uh, why don't you let people know about uh, your business? So, what kind of service yeah. do you offer? I know, I know a little bit about them. That they're financial services and uh, correct about you know, people's yeah. credit. So what? Yeah, why correct. Don't you so okay. Yeah, correct. So what we do here at Showhive, uh, we try to help people understand most importantly. Um, how their credit works and how actual credit works. Cause we get a lot of people sometimes that tell us, you know, we, we don't know what's a credit report. We don't know what's a credit bureau. We don't know why our score have dropped, you know, just like we always tell all of our clients, you know, we love to have you back, but we try our best to educate people as much as we can, you know, after us fixing the mistake to not have to do that mistake again, you know, so it's not repetitively happening. The reason why is because, you know, people don't understand, you know, 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 scores could cost you a lot of money on interest, you know. So after getting people educated on that, you know, we try to help people now, you know, make their credit better, get their score up, you know. Don't get any more negative accounts, you know. Don't get into debt that you can't pay. And obviously, you know, when, you, when they go to, you know, certain places, they don't explain that to them. Like if they go to the car dealership or they go apply for a house or, you know, so we also work hands on hands with a lot of uh, lenders and realtors here in the Valley oh. and actually, and, and actually other States, you know, we have partners in California, we have partners in Texas and Michigan. And, you know, they're like, you know, we have a client that's, uh, you know, at a risky, uh, let's just say credit score, you know? So we take that client and we explain to them why they're there, how they got there, how they could make it better. And also the lender they're working with, you know, when lenders care about their clients and, you know, businesses, they explain to them like, hey, if you guys want to wait another 30 days and your score could go up 20 to 30 scores, we could save you, you know, X amount of money every month. And people are like, why? You know, people would like to wait, you know, people would like uh -huh. to do that. But we, that's just where we come in and try to explain to people, you know, that's why. Yeah. So if someone has bad credit and they're Correct. looking at buying a house. I mean, if they come to you, how long would it take for them to uh, correct their credit To correct scores? it, yeah. So just like, you know, we, we tell everybody, we don't promise people in the world, we try to be as realistic as we can with our product. Uh, uh -huh. We've seen most success within six months. Um, there is a lot of, you know, uh, companies out there. I don't like to speak on behalf of other companies. You know, they say it takes about a year. We don't believe in that. The reason why is, is because if something is not getting removed after six months, it's uh -huh. probably yours, you know? this is why we're trying to go in there and correct it. You know, we're not trying to go there and deny the fact because, you know, we've had people there like, Oh yeah, this is, you know, not mine, but it's like, wait, so you did have a car, you did have a credit card. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know, when people deny that, I feel like that kind of gives them the okay to be back in that spot again. So we give them about six months period, you know, every month we, we call our clients, we send videos and they also have a portal where they could log in. So they're also understanding what's happening in the back end. And we're not just like, oh, we'll fix, you know, and we'll fix it for you. Yeah. So they're part of the process also. The reason why it's for the educational side of it. Because we do it every day. We don't need to explain that to clients, you know. But uh -huh. when we do explain it to them, they actually understand it. They're like, oh, my credit score went up because I paid off my credit card. Great. We love to hear that from clients, you know. Uh -huh. They just didn't know this stuff. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so people that are listening, so they can actually improve their credit scores Correct. And, uh, qualify to buy a house, but it just takes a little time. Correct. And honestly, we've had people sometime, Brian, you know, just like I always tell people, we love selling our services, but we will not sell you our services if you realistically don't need them. I've had people where they didn't need our services. So we gave them our, our free credit boosting program. Free credit boosting program, that means we look at your credit and we'll say, hey, Brian, you know, all you need to do is pay off this card, pay off this card, pay off that card. And, you know, we ask people to be upfront with us, you know, like, hey, I don't have that money to pay it right now. So we're like, pay this, you know, we'll put them in order for you where you could, um, you know, you could get them. We also recommend secured credit cards for people, you know, um, secured credit cards are very, very, very helpful. A lot of, you know, people underestimate those, but they can help you tremendously if you don't have negative items. 
Oh. Now we've had, you know, if you have a bunch of negative items and you're trying to add positive, it just doesn't, you know, make it, it's mixed. You can't have it straight like that. So, oh. you know, that's what we try to do with the uh, credit report. When we talk to clients is we go through every account and through everything that we could do and what we can't do and what they need to do. Cause the program, it's, it's, it's not just, you know, us doing it. Just like I told you, we let uh -huh. the client, you know, interact. So they know what their accounts look like. So they know how they report. So they know, you know, everything about their credit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So yeah, you know, I was always curious. I, I mean, I have credit card, you know, credit yeah. card debt and you know, I yeah. think most people do. Is it better to pay off a credit card or is it better to keep a small balance going? You know what I mean? And make payments on it. Would, Correct. So, so it's, so yes. that, that honestly varies, you know, um, I personally have about, you know, um, I have a lot of credit cards. The reason why I have personal credit cards, I have business credit cards. I use them for traveling. Um, I travel um, a lot. So I would use them for traveling, grocery shopping. If I'm trying to, you know, each card is used for points. Now okay. for me personally, I always recommend paying credit cards off. Um, first, you don't have debt that you have to pay. Second, you're not paying interest on money that you don't, you know, I yeah. always tell people, what's the money is sitting on your bank? It's earning nothing, but it's sitting on a debt on a credit card. You're having to pay interest on it. You know what I mean? Oh, so okay. we look at it from that point of view. And when you actually have high balances on credit card, you know, banks do take those as risks. Oh. Um, they, 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 they always have to assume the, the bad side of it. You know, they'll oh. say this person has a lot of credit cards and a lot of debt. Uh, this could be a, uh, you know, you'll get lended at a high interest rate or whatever the case is at that moment. When people try to, you know, make a huge purchase, like a long-term purchase, like a house, car, even payments on credit cards, we, anything that you pay interest on it, I consider it debt, you know, even if it's small interest. So uh -huh. I always tell people, pay it all off if you can tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I wasn't sure about that. No, thanks for, uh, for letting me know. Yeah. So I know Trollhive, you know, in talking with you uh, earlier, uh -huh. Yeah, they offer some other financial services. Can you tell us a little bit about Correct. that? Correct. So, yeah. So, um, you know, well, just like I was telling you, we do, we do help people um, with their credit to repair it. Uh, we, we also have, just like I was telling you also about the credit boosting program, that program is 100% free. Uh, we don't charge for it. Oh, we wow. Simply look, yeah, we simply look uh, at your credit. Um, it's, it's a 50-minute consultation. This is one of the ways, like right now we're, we're – uh, we're waiving the consultation fee because oh. of everything going on, people losing their job. You know, we've had people tell us, you don't need to waive it for us, but that's kind of our way to give them back, you know, to the community and stuff. Because uh -huh. I think finances is really important. And I feel like people are worrying about those more now, which is a really, really good thing, you know? Oh, yeah. People are looking more into their finances. Uh, we, we just like I told you earlier, also we work with uh, realtors and lenders here in the Valley uh, when our clients needing help or when their clients needing help. It's people, you know, we know people we work with, people here in the community, you know, trying to support, you know, other businesses, you know, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you, you guys do loans also for houses? Correct. And car loans Correct. And all that other? Correct. Oh, Correct. Wow. We do, yes, we do assist with that. So, however, we do not do it in-house. Uh, we do have partners that we work with, we're partners with. Um, so if we get a client that needing help with a house, car, and they ask us for help, Yes, we could help them. You know, most of our clients, we also work with dealership here in the Valley. Uh, oh. Dealerships, they send us their, you know, we, we, we work with them directly. And it's, you know, even with solar companies right now, we're expanding, you know, we realize that solar companies are needing our services also. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're talking, yeah, with Johan Yalda, he's with Trohive. And uh, mm -hmm. so how would people get in touch with you if they want to sign yeah. up? Do they go to your website? Fill yeah, out an people, application or? Correct. There's the multiple ways. Um, you know, we've had, we've had, we could do phone consultations. We can do online. We also have a chat feature on our website. You oh, know, okay. some people like to chat, um, to take their time. You could email us and it's simple one. You can click on our website and schedule a consultation. You know, again, you know, we're not, you're not, it's not like you're going to be tripped into buying something or having to buy something. Cause we get a lot of feedback from our customers, you know, they tell us, so oh, we're scared of this, we're scared of that. So we are we try to work with people. So, yeah, if you need a consultation or just have a question about anything, 1-800-484, you know, 8646. And Brian will have that phone number also. But, yeah, we like helping people. If we could help you in any way, you know, let us know. 
Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so uh, where are you guys located? Like, aren't you here in uh, Phoenix or Tempe? Correct. Tempe, Tempe, we are on Tempe Town Lake. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tempe Town Lake, Rio Salado. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. so, uh, you know, a lot of people are hurting right now. I mean, a lot of people are out of jobs and this and that. So it sounds like a great way to uh, help repair their credit, you know, is by using your services. And I know, you know, a lot of people that I know, you know, they're still interested in buying a home. You know, what are you seeing, like, right now with the pandemic? Like, uh, um, Yeah, so honestly, at the moment, um, right now, um, we did have a lot of our clients that were actually getting ready to, like, make purchases, buy houses, and buy stuff like that. Um, some people, you know, I feel like they're holding back just because they see everybody, the society's uh, reaction, which uh-huh. is a normal thing. You know, we don't, we don't like telling people what to do and what not to do. You know, so if a client says, you know, hey, you know, I'm going to delay this or I'm going to push this, we, we, we are seeing a lot more of that. Um, I would say it was more at the beginning when every when the media was going crazy about the whole oh, virus yeah. and, yeah. you know, Facebook posts and somebody says, my, my cousin said this and my friend says this. And, you know, we try to direct people to realistic sources like, you know, go to CDC or look up this website or look at this website to actually see the real news, you know. But we did see a lot of, you know, that. And I feel like right now, you know, and we like to discuss openly what we do in the company because we're really proud of it. Uh, we change, I change my employees to more of like just educate people. So if you have somebody on the phone and they're just asking you a bunch of questions for 10, 15 minutes, that's fine. Don't feel like you have to get them into a sell them or, you know, anything. You're getting paid. You're happy. They're, they're getting the education they need because I feel like a lot of that it's going around where people are feeling like they have to pay to get education or they have to, you know, it's like we have this education, it's public, it's free, but some people are just skipping it because of what they're going through. So we try to also do a lot of that. Now that's what a lot of our employees are doing, believe it or not. They're working actually extra two hours just because we're kind of behind just taking calls from people and stuff, you know? Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, so do people like if they weren't stuck at home? Do you usually see people at your office, or is it done we, usually over the phone? We we or? do we have people, um, you know, that says we like to meet in person just because they'll have paperwork or something to show us, or some people just like the human interaction. Yeah, I love doing that. I love meeting people and meeting new people. Um, at the moment, we're not doing that. We do a lot of uh, most of I would say ninety percent of our applications are done on the phone. Um, and sometimes people like video chat. We also offer Zoom meetings, you know, whatever the client is with. But for right now, we're not meeting anybody just because of, you know, where I, where I am, we're at Regis, um, you know, at State Farm, next to State Farm building, Regis. So they kind of restrict, restricted it, um, restricted it, you know, going on the, uh, on the ninth floor and everything. Oh. They have a lot of rules and restrictions. And so try to avoid that you know i haven't even been working out or going out or anything you know <laughs> yeah i understand i know yeah we're all stuck at home believe me yeah, yeah. You know, so uh so again we're talking to johan yalda he's with trollhive so uh yeah is there any last word you want to say and let people know you know i just i just would like to wish everybody you know in the whole world you know good energy positive energy and we're all in this together you know i always tell people I don't know how I could help, but if somebody reaches out, I always find the help they need. You know, again, it doesn't have to be in business. Just some people sometimes call me, said, hey, I'm looking for, you know, a person to help me with this. I, you know, I love helping people. If you guys want to reach out, have any questions, we love helping you. You know, and again, thank you. Big thank you to Brian. Oh, yeah. Roman, you know, hosting this meeting. We really, really appreciate you, man. Oh, thanks. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I mean, this guy, great guy. He was actually on my show earlier. We had a, a meeting uh, uh, earlier in the day and uh, quite informative. So uh, again, Johan, you know, if anyone, again, is interested in, in services, reach out uh, 1-800-484-8646. Again, 1-800-484-8646. Great guy. And uh, Johan, thank you again. Appreciate it, Brian. Thank you. Okay.